tell me what your average day is. I mean, your, I mean what will your 26th day My look average like day currently, I'm doing ticket counts, which is mm -hmm. what they have us do when, when we start out. Um, I'm basically reaching out to promoters for shows that, that we book, and I figure out how many tickets we've sold every day. For the, for the shows. So I have about 250 shows that I'm responsible for. And I, I call and I you know, make relationships with all these promoters and they send me the counts. And then if I don't get them in by noon, you know, I have to send them another email and reach out some more and tell them, you know, we really need these counts in. The agents need them by three. If I don't get them by three, I have to let the agents know I didn't get them. And, you know, maybe they'll go back to the promoter and say we really need these counts. And then mm -hmm. they usually send them if the agent sends the email. Yeah. I'm so, just I'm just a small little person. Okay, can I give you a hot tip here <laughs> yeah, that I've learned hear in it. Sony Music about working with big companies? Always CC the boss on there. Right? Well, if I did that, the, the the bosses would get so many okay. emails from me. All right, scratch we, that. That's well, why I was Joe. I would have been a complete failure over there at, at William. The bosses Morris. they don't want all those emails. They have yeah. enough to tend to. Yeah. Okay, that's important stuff. That ticket counts, right? It is. Right, as a it's manager, really important. Um, those are things uh, that we look for because it's feedback. The band guys call you. Um, the record company folks call you. All kinds of people are interested because that's one of the real indicators you get about how things how are going. How things are going. And if there's a drop in the count, sorry for interrupting, you know, that's when you mm -hmm. go to, to the boss and you say, you need to contact this promoter and figure yeah. out maybe what's going on. Yeah. No, it's, it's important stuff. Okay, so you get your ticket counts. What happens if you mess up the ticket counts, Camille? You have to own up to the mistake if, if it was your fault, if you, Love which is that. always a scary thing, but you have to own up to it. Um, if you don't get the count because it's the promoter's fault, you, you let the agent and their assistants know that this person's being unresponsive, and they'll usually, you know, light the fire and mm. get the count from them. Yeah. Now, you're taking, you know, you know, William Morris does lots of, William Morris Endeavor does lots of shows with the live nations and so forth. Do you deal with a specific person at the corporate level, or do you deal no, with each of the individual it's, promoters? No, it's individual. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'll have a, maybe five or six shows with one promoter every now and then that I kind of I kind of get to know them and I form relationships with mm. them, which I think is really important for for future when I'm maybe an agent one day or or whatever it is yes. I'm going to be to yeah. know these promoters and know people at all the different, you know, promotion companies, buyers around the country. I'm dealing with people mm. all over Atlanta, New York. Mm. It's not just L.A. Okay, so but you just deal with the U.S. stuff. It's, it's just U.S. The there's, London there's a, office deals with there's Europe a different person in Music Central who does international counts. All right, great. That's good stuff. Okay, so now you, how long does it take you to get all these ticket counts? Uh, it takes a really long time. Okay. It, I get I get an eight, and I have to have all the counts by three. What happens if you're late? I'm never late. Okay. <laughs> You can't. No, so I love this girl. That's <laughs> good stuff, by the way, folks. You know, everybody thinks you're in the music business that is kind of cash and kind of loose. But if you want to succeed no, on the business side, there's not, nothing loose about it. It's not casual it? or loose at all. I mean, like I said, we, we get to wear jeans, but mm -hmm. it's, it's very disciplined there. And I feel after just five weeks that I'm so much more disciplined than I was when I came. Let's talk about the whole training process. Okay. You know, for some of the folks that have, that, that have watched you know, our show and that have been a part of the Incubus world, they all know Joe Lilac, who, who works with me. Joe started in the mailroom right. at William Morris. Was it called the mailroom or Music Central then, Joe? It was Music Central at the time. Music Central. I love the way they've made you music folks feel kind of special. I feel cool right? in yeah, Music okay, Central. Yeah, it's and, a glorified and, name. And I know that one of the things that was great when, when Joe came and joined <laughs> us is that you have, there's a, William Morris, to their credit, uh, William Morris Endeavor does a great job of training their people oh, on, on the real nuts and bolts of the music. We talk about that a little bit. I, I feel very fortunate to have all the training that I've been given. I mean, I started with the note cards test, which is very important information. I know mm -hmm. it seems like, why well, do I need to know all this stuff? But you have to know that agent's initials and their extensions, if you have to call up. Um, after that training, I did corporate training, mm -hmm. which was two weeks of intensive how, how to use the phones how to talk what to say what say reach out if you're mm -hmm. trying to talk to somebody yeah. you know all, all the the industry jargon if you will um william morris teaches a, a, a their own unique way of doing business not just about the what it's the way you do it it's the way william. you do yeah. it the way you do things the way you talk um how you present yourself it's very important there after i graduated you say mm -hmm. from from corporate training i moved on to offers training which is where i'm learning how to input offers into the system. Okay, tell our folks what that whole process so, is about. I know it, but I've been doing it for years. Tell me about the uh, yeah, offer. Of I want to see if I'm, yeah, I've been assigned to test you today, so I'm, I'm, I'm to report back to higher authorities <laughs> today. So, Camille? um... Camille? Camille? 
What is, what is uh, Mark Geiger's extension? Just curious. It's four four two five. Awesome. Okay, that's, Joe. Make notes. You got that one covered. That's here, one you, know? you can't forget. You can't forget Mark Geiger's We're extension. Gonna, we we talked to the Geigs. I don't know if you, I, can somebody at Music Central call him Geigs. I wouldn't call him Geigs. No, I, I, I can get away. With it. Anyway, Geigs is going to be on the show here one day. Geigs. And uh, Geigs, yeah. You, well, I'll, that's, that's a really long story. But Geigs and I go way, 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 way back further. How about Don Muller? What's his extension? Don Muller. Oh, man, you caught me off guard oh! with that one. Wait, 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 do I have a buzzer on here, Joe? <laughs> Where's uh, my sound you're gonna effects? Have to, no. You're going to have to okay. delete that one from... Okay, from I don't know it either. 4058. 4058. How do you... You still God. remember all those, Joe huh? Joe remembers them all. He remembers them all. <laughs> okay, sorry for me interrupting and in, 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 in testing you live here. Okay, so... You're now in the offers. Explain what okay, offers so are. Okay, so the buyer yeah. sends in an offer. This is great stuff for all you folks on touring. We're going to have a new week here soon called Touring, Touring, Touring. We may invite you back. I'd love ahead. to come Sorry. back. Anyways, so uh, in a nutshell, buyer sends in an offer. The assistant gets it. Assistant inputs it into the system and prints it out in a way that the agent wants to see. Mm -hmm. And it has, you know, everything that they need to know. You have to figure out what type of deal it is. You have to figure out how much money they're going to make. Your your memo needs to match what the buyer sent. All your numbers should be the same and whatnot. So it's it's not easy for me yet. I'm still learning. Um, like I said, I'm very fortunate for all the training I've been given. We have, uh, like, senior assistants, you could say, who train with us. Mm -hmm. It was every day for a little yeah. while. Now it's twice a week. Yeah. They come in. They give us the fake offers. Yeah. We, we we do them, they grade them. Oh, so them. you guys aren't on to real offers yet? You're just doing well, they're, fake offers. They're, I mean, they're real, but they're old. They're past. Some big numbers in there, I'm sure you see from Big time numbers. Time. Very big, big numbers. Number. It's That's a lot right. of money.